Hello students, let us discuss uh, numerical based on fluid particle heterogeneous kinetics. Now this is the numerical statement, you can go through the numerical statement. Here uh, time required for 98% uh, conversion that we have to calculate for this reaction. Before this problem you can uh, study my previous problem what I have uh, uploaded on YouTube and then you can go for this problem. So here K, K double dash is given in terms of temperature, diffusivity is given, Kg is the diffusion coefficient which is also given, atomic weights are given. Here one thing I want to mention that reaction is taking place, this is a reduction reaction where iron is produced. This reaction is taking place in pure hydrogen environment where the operating pressure and partial pressure will be same, one atmosphere and temperature is 600 degree centigrade. Okay. This atomic weights are given for converting this density in terms of moles, moles per cc. Now let us go for solution. Here the reaction is like this. Why we have divided reaction by 4? Because we want reaction to be of this form A in gases phase plus B times B in solid phase which is giving product. Now here B will be 1 by 4 because B is a stoichiometric coefficient of solid. So it is 0.25. Arrow shows that you have to be careful on this step. Right? Now density. Density will be uh, 4.6. It should be divided by 232 because it is a molecular weight of that compound Fe3O4. And hence your density will be in uh, molar form. Now temperature you will convert in Kelvin R82.06 and you are knowing that if you are knowing pressure you can calculate concentration. Here we will calculate the concentration of hydrogen because A component is hydrogen and B component is Fe3O4. So CAG will be PAG upon RT. In this way P is your one. P is PAG because it is a pure hydrogen we are using. Okay. So P is 1, R is 82.06 and T is 873 Kelvin. So CAG value is 1.396 into 10 raise to minus 5 mole per cc. Diffusivity is given. K double dash is given but in, it is in terms of temperature. So just substitute the value of temperature you will get K double dash value. Kg is also given. Why these three terms are given? De, Kg, K double dash. Because we have to consider all the resistances. Which are the resistances present? First is a gas film resistance. Second is a ash layer resistance. And third is chemical reaction resistance. Now here we want to find the time required to have 98% of the reaction. So it means we have to estimate T. But can we estimate T directly? No. Because we have formulas of tau. So there is a relation between T, tau and XB. As XB is 98% means 0.98 as it is a fractional value, right? So first of all, we will calculate tau for all the three cases. Tau for diffusion, tau for um, ash layer and tau for chemical reaction, okay? So this is the first tau value that we will estimate. It is for gas phase resistance, right? So rho b into r upon 3b kg CAG, that is the formula for calculating tau if uh, film diffusion is controlling the rate of reaction. So after substituting values, your answer is 94.55 second. As conversion is 98%, so 0.98 is the value of xb. So T can be calculated by this formula. This formula is exclusively for spherical particle with film diffusion controlling. I have already discussed this formulas, how this formula arrived. Okay, the entire derivation we have covered in our YouTube videos. 
so you can just go and you can see videos uh, and clear your concept and then and then you have to understand the problem how uh, we are solving the problem okay so t by tau is xb that is exclusively the relationship for uh, spherical particle uh, with film diffusion control so we have estimated value of tau 94.55 we are having value of xb as 0.98 so t will be 92.66 just you have to cross multiply tau with xb and you will get value of t okay now in similar way you have to calculate tau and then t for a given case okay like in first uh, we have considered the gas film resistance now second we will consider ash diffusion control so the formula is changed and t tau xb relation is also changed and this already we have discussed in the separate expressions okay there are three separate expressions on uh, three different resistances and entire thing are covered there so just you have to put the values in formula so rho b r square upon 6b de into cag all values you will substitute and you will get tau as 7880 7880 if you just compare this value previous 94.55 it means as compared to 7880 this value is very little right means you can neglect even you can neglect but here as data is given so we are using also they have not meant they have not mentioned that you have to ignore it okay so we have just compared that which resistance is more from this value 7880 it is sure that ash resistance ash layer resistance is providing more resistance okay for conversion of the particle now t tau xb relation for ash layer diffusion is this t upon tau is equal to 1 minus 3 into 1 minus xb raised to 2 by 3 plus 2 into 1 minus xb and xb value is 0.98 you have just calculated tau 7880 so t value is 6453 okay then okay chemical reaction control here formula is very easy rho b into r upon b k double dash into cag is the formula if you compare the previous answer it is more than twice it means chemical reaction is providing more resistance that you can take as a uh, conclusion from this calculation okay if you see this first value for film diffusion is 94.55 tau is this small value then the value is 7880 and then now it is 13703 seconds and t by tau is is equal to 1 minus 1 minus xb raised to 1 by 3 that is the relation between t tau and xb for chemical reaction control right and that is why your final uh, t of reaction alone is 9976 so this is what your answer for t of chemical reaction previously t of ash alone and then previously t of film alone now what we will do as we have to calculate uh, time required for 98 percent conversion if we consider all the resistances so your total time will be individual times 92.66 6453 and 9976 so total time is 16521.66 second okay so finally if you uh, just round up 16522 second if you divide uh, and if you convert it uh, second into hour you will get 4.59 hour means you have divided it by 3600 okay because 3600 second is nothing but one hour so finally we have got the time required for 98 percent conversion of the particle as 
16,522 second or 4.59 hour. Uh, friends, if they ask to calculate the total time required for conversion, then what you will do? You will write tau is equal to tau of film alone plus tau of ash alone plus tau of reaction alone. And just you will add these values tau of film 94.55 plus 7880 and 13703. Okay, and then you will get some value which will be higher than this because you are going for 100% conversion, right? So, uh, if you like this video, if you understand everything, please post. What is the tau value, final tau value, if I want a 100% conversion. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. Thank you.